A former hotel could end up being the site for a new Bemidji homeless shelter. An organization called The Bridge Project is working with the Nameless Coalition for the Homeless to convert the former Northern Inn. Jackson Bruner has more. In Bemidji and the surrounding region, homelessness remains a concern. The population cannot afford to spend 30% of their income, and so they're called housing poor. And then if they're 50% of their income, they're called extreme housing poor. And we have a, a huge amount of people that fall in between that 30 to 50%. And so they don't, they aren't able to afford housing. The Bridge Project solution, Bemidji's now empty northern motel, carries an expensive price tag of over $2 million. Now the board stresses the hotel would provide temporary housing to help homeless people get back on their feet. They say there's a plan to help with that end. We want to help out in the areas they need help and we do want to provide a lot of whether it's social work or, or job training and eventually enable them to, to take care of themselves and get, get back out. That's what most of them want. You know, they want to be uh, you know, a healthy community member with their own place to live and raise their kids or, or, or work or whatever. The space includes over a hundred rooms, a convention area, and a kitchen. And with the help of state agencies and other donors, organizers plan to use all of it. I can see families living there and planning their future and walking down the hallway and knocking on somebody's door and saying, do you want to go, you want to have supper at, at our house or um, do you want to go down to the library? It's just so so solid in my mind that I can just see it. Hinnom, the executive director of Bemidji's Village of Hope, says the shelter has recently fallen on tough times. In 2014, their small space was forced to turn away over 500 children in need. But with this new project, she and the bridge team are only looking ahead. It feels like people have just been waiting for a project to kind of put their, their money and their passion and their time to. And so I think this is a perfect a perfect way that the community can kind of come together. It's easy to take, but you darn well better be able to give once in a while too. So this is small, given where we can and, and taking care of the community. Community takes care of us very well, so we've got to be a part of that and taking care of other people. In Bemidji, Jackson Bruner, Lakeland News. Bridge Project board members say zoning issues as well as finances still stand in the way of the motel purchase. They say other options for shelter will also be considered. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.